welcome. I hope you like it here. Um, this is going to be the first, uh, I guess, episode to my series of The Dummies Review. I'm going to tell you how I like the game and with not really any information to back it up. Like, I'm going to tell you how much fun it is through the experiences of mine without doing any research or anything of the sort. I did write a script for this and had a plan, but then it sounded like I did do research for this. <laughs> and I kind of don't want it to do that because that's not the vibe I want to give. I want to give a vibe like I am talking to you except from a friend trying to convince you to buy the game or to convince you to stay away from said game, which I will do at another game. So first, I want to start off with how gorgeous the game looks like. Huh. Ooh, this game looks amazing. So you play the game and you won't even realize it but like well, no you will realize this everything in the game is moving nothing is not moving <laughs> like if it's not moving then it's kind of weird and everything that's not moving tends to be something bad in game like for example you'll see cut down trees by the the mongols that are invading uh tsushima you will see those trees cut down and those are like the only things that aren't moving and aren't alive and throughout the entire game while you're playing, even the dead trees that aren't cut down, they are even moving and seem like they're alive in a weird, not so alive way. Like, while I'm playing this game, I look at anything and it's just moving and looks gorgeous because it's not like overly moving. It fits with whatever's happening. Something I apparently heard was that the more violent that your character gets, the more uh, like the storms and stuff will pick up and start like thunder will start striking whenever you start uh, attacking someone which I think is almost certainly true because while I was playing I noticed this because <laughs> I was like I'm gonna see if that's even true and I went to look and it <laughs> seemed like it was <laughs> I genuinely loved that that was just so cool whenever I first found out because like now whenever I'm playing and I'll like strike someone with my sword it it's just like it looks and sounds amazing like oh and the sound in this game is amazing like seriously you may think oh how good is it well literally you can freaking parry and dodge according to the sound of the game like you can base it off of whenever you hear the sh like it's a sh that sound that sound happens whenever they're about to strike you, like right before. And if you can hear it, you notice it right then. Playing this game with headphones is, oh my gosh, highly recommended by me at the very least. It's a different experience without it. And that feeling of giving a perfect parry is just so satisfying because you can always parry. Like no matter what, you can just always parry. It doesn't, if you just hold the button, uh, it will just, your character will automatically parry everything that happens, comes at him. Other than unblockable attacks, which they shine red beforehand. Better your character gets at uh, basically just deflecting and stuff, the better you get. There's these like bamboo things that you just like cut. Wish I had footage for that, but I don't. Um, those things, you have to like literally kind of enter a cheat code. It feels like, because you're going like uh, freaking L1 XXX l1 triangle something like that and it just feels like literally like you're entering a, a cheat code within a few seconds and you have to do it before your character starts to cut through the bamboo because if he does then the buttons disappear and then you fail if you didn't do it fast enough or if you didn't uh if you press the wrong button and then he'll stop in the middle of it and it, it kind of makes sense because you messed up so therefore he he messed up by like turning his sword a little bit or something like that Either way, still doesn't change the fact that that's just awesome. You get better at pressing buttons faster due to this uh, little mini game that it gives you to give you more resolve, aka getting you stronger. And literally, while I was playing, I didn't even realize this till later on because I realized, wait a minute, I'm getting better at this game. I mean, obviously you get better, but I was getting a lot better faster and it was because I was doing a lot of those bamboo shrines, or not bamboo shrines, bamboo practices. Like, it it was so different, and I wasn't expecting it. And whenever I found out that I was, like, kind of catching on to that, I was like, dang, it's 
pretty sick. And now I want to talk about the stealth. The stealth, eh, it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible either. I mean, honestly, how in-depth the combat is, you wouldn't even really want to stealth, but whenever you have to, it's never anything too complicated. It always tries to give you a little more leeway with how you can do stealth, kind of like any of the Assassin's Creed games, which is probably the best way to explain it, because however you imagine Assassin's Creed, or however you've, if you've played it, uh, it's kind of the same vibe it gives. It's not even close to comparison as the fighting the fighting in this game is way way better honestly i like just charging in now and cutting them all down instead of stealthing my way through because it feels way more satisfying than choking and stabbing a few people out but whenever i kill them which although getting through the entire thing with stealthing feels amazing too there is however so there's like bandit camps all right these are filled with mongols though so there's like, they've taken over most of Tsushima. And that's the whole thing. I mean, I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> I'm just telling you that's the goal of the game is to get them out. And you realize while you're playing that like there's different types of bandit hideouts. All right. So like, or Mongol hideouts, but I'm going to call them bandit hideouts because it's a lot easier for me. So there's the one type where it's a small little camp just filled with them. And then once you, and all you gotta do is just clear them all out. And then it opens up as if it, it shows more of the map. It's, uh, they call it the fog of war uh, over the map. So like, that's why you can't see. But whenever you go through that area, you can see. And then they kind of count as like, you know, like towers and like a Ubisoft game. Well, those bandit camps are kind of the same thing, except instead of climbing and doing stuff like that, you're fighting and or stealthing. Something else I want to talk about is these mythic quests. I don't know if you've heard about them before, but they're pretty sick. I loved it. Okay, so you see, while you're playing, you can run across these side quests. These ones are called mythic quests. They, or at least I think they're called mythic quests. I don't know. Anyways, you see, you call they're called that because they give you something really OP. Like, for example, that one slice that I told you that just like, you just jolt forward with your sword uh, out to your side. That thing, it literally comes from said mythic quests. Those quests are really fun. Uh, they always end, well at least from what I've experienced, they've always ended in a boss fight of some sort and they've always led to me getting something really cool. Like, for example, that one side slash. I love it, there's better ones, and once you get into the game, you see them yourself, you're like, what? And then you're just like, heck yeah, I gotta get that, and then you immediately get it, and you're just like, yes, I love this, I love it, and you use it way too much, just like I do. <laughs> and then you realize, oh no, I have no resolve, and then you die. Uh, Oh, something cool is there's a skill point that literally prevents you from dying. Like, you can heal, all right, just by going, ooh, you just like, you just push through it. And then literally if you die and you, you, and you have one resolve point left in your stuff, with this skill, it lets you straight up go main character mode and just prevent yourself from dying. And it is the absolute coolest thing I've ever really thought I would want in a game. Like, it's way better than, uh, oh yeah, I drunk some ho health potion or something like that. In my opinion, it's better than that because you're literally pushing through with your own will, your own might in game. Yes, it's obviously not your own, but it's still, nonetheless, just as cool. I personally didn't think I'd actually like it that way, but oh, was I wrong. <laughs> and... I also loved, 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 loved how everything looks. The blood in this game looks like a paintbrush is being just sliced. Like, it looks like your katana is a paintbrush and their blood is the paint. And it is absolutely just satisfying watching it happen. Like, I don't really like watching people die in video games necessarily because it's kind of not that well feeling. It doesn't make me feel well. But you see, 
This game knows how to make it look appealing, which is so weird that I never thought I'd actually say that. This game makes blood look really good. While if you cut someone in the throat, this sounds nasty and it kinda is, if you cut someone in the throat, the blood splats out realistically, but it also leaves blood markings on the floor. Like everything matches where it would land and you can watch it land. In water, it looks even cooler because it floats. It leaves the blood like drops, but they become bigger and a little more sh different colored because of the water. And then they fo follow down whatever current the water's down, which is super cool to me. Uh, I don't have any footage of that either. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. I'm going to let you guys go, but I want to tell you how I feel about the game. I love the game, obviously. And if you guys have the money and you guys want to buy it, definitely do it. I would 100% recommend it. And also, if you can't buy it, I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere, so you can just wait and save up for it. And also, I kind of hope they add some DLC, because, man, do I want more of this game. <laughs> but that's a little uh, off topic. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you did get to the end uh, and you liked it, leave a like. And if you want to see more, uh, subscribe. I'm going to try and make more videos kind of like this or something among the lines of this. I don't know. I want to just make more videos and I don't know what I should do. So if you want to tell me what I should do, tell me in the comments, please, because I need some advice. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and sayonara. Man, did this take way too long to actually make.